Who is he? He said his name was Rint. He's my half-brother. We have the same mother, but different fathers. Jochen was always fast. Standing still was never his thing. It began with the push scooter, which he raced around the neighborhood with like a headless chicken, then the first bicycle. And naturally, this was followed by a moped. Someone walks in, hair in his eyes, wearing a knitted green vest, which was buttoned wrong. The shoes were, in one he had a cord, in the other, a shoestring. Everybody was talking how fast he was. And I think I read in the motor magazines before I ever saw him. This is a shaz. That's bullshit. I can't see anything. I don't like it at all. Up until then, he had only driven touring cars. Cut. Schnitt. Sometimes he'd say, let's go for a cruise. <laughs> we would take the curves wide and I said, hey, you're not even checking to see if someone is coming. By today's standards, it is incomprehensible what in these days was possible on the streets. There had been a terrible rainstorm. This racing business put a lot of stress on our grandmother. The track was slick with puddles, and I said to him, Jochen, have you ever heard of aquaplaning? I told him that was when the car started to spin out. She said, if only Jochen didn't drive so fast. He said, you only need to hold the wheel straight, drive through the puddles, and keep driving. And he was amazing, you know, he was always going sideways, you know, that was more spectacular. to the movies together, just the two of us, an outdoor movie. So we had to drive the car and then sit in the car, two boys. It never happened in those days. Everybody was looking at two boys in the movie theater. Everybody else had a girlfriend. When Jochen said he was going to drive for Lotus, I said to him, but you know, they are constantly breaking apart. <laughs> Ich habe rein gewählt, 
nach der Güte des Autos und nach keinem anderen Aspekt.